Hi guys, I'm Autumn from itsalwaysautumn.com and today I'm going to show you how to add text to one of your photos using Adobe Photoshop Elements 15. I'm then going to use that photo to create a photo clock, but you can use this tutorial to add text to your photos for any reason at all. So we are going to start in quick mode of Photoshop Elements 15. And over here on the left, we can hit this T button to get our type tool. As soon as we hit that button, or we can hit the letter T, our type tools um, show up down here at the bottom. This is where we can control what font we want to be in. Um, I'm going to switch to a different font here by just typing in the name of the font. You can also click the little arrow and all of your fonts that are installed on your computer will show up. You can change what color you're going to type in by clicking on that. Some default colors will come up or you can click on this little rainbow circle to pull up the color picker. And you can choose any color you want by clicking around here or by adding in a custom color code right there. I'm just going to choose white. You can also change the size of your font here and whether you want it to be left justified center or right justifi justified. So once we've chosen what we want, all we have to do is click on our photo and we can start typing our first word. I'm going to type the word always and I click the green check mark. Okay, this word's obviously way too big um, for my photo. All I need to do is click on it and I can drag it around to move it wherever I want. Also, once I've clicked on it, you'll see the bounding box show up and we can click on one of the corners and drag to make it bigger or smaller. So I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. I'll hit T to get my type tool back and click again on my photo to type another word. Okay, again, it's come in too big, so I can click one of the corners and drag it smaller and then click it to move it around. I could also change the size by hitting T for the type tool again, clicking and highlighting the entire thing and then changing the size right here, however you'd like to do that. Okay, I'm going to type one more word and I'm going to drag that and I'm going to change that to a different font. Okay, I click, the bounding box shows up, I click and hold to move it around or if I click on one of these corners and drag, I can change the size, smaller or larger. Once I click on any of the words, I can also use my arrow keys to move it around just to nudge, make small movements. Okay, it's very easy to add text to your photo. You can get your hit T to get your type tool to add different lines of text if you want. And then once they're typed on, it's really easy to move them around and change the size or the color or the font, as I've already showed you how. All right in quick mode. And from here, you can just go under File to Save As to save your photo. Um, and then you could order it from your photo processor. Or you can click under Share and share it directly to one of these places. So it's nice, it can share straight into Facebook for you, which is really fun. I'm gonna hop over to expert mode because since I'm making a photo clock, there's just one or two things that I need to do. So what I'm gonna do now is make sure that the photo is the right size to fit into the clock that I'm using and also get the photo cropped into a circle. So my photo is, or sorry, my clock the spot for the photo is nine and a quarter inches in diameter. So I have to think about what size I'm going to print this photo out at. Uh, the next bigger standard print size is an 11 by 14. So I wanna make sure that I'm working with a document that is, or a file that is 11 inches by 14 inches. So over here in the layers palette, this shows us our photo as the background, and then we see each of the words that we've added as an additional layer. 
We're going to double click on this lock sign here and that just turns our photo into a layer. And then we need to resize this whole file. So up here under image, resize, canvas size. Right now it's 11 by um, 7.335. We want it to be 14 inches wide by 11 inches high. We can just type that in and hit OK. Now you can see that we have um, a background here that's bigger than how big our photo is. And it is, the background is showing um, white and gray checkerboard, which just means it's not filled with anything yet so that it, it's clear, so it'll print white. Okay, so we have the right size file. Now what we need to do is put the photo into the right size circle. So I need to draw a circle that's nine and a quarter inches in diameter. Over here, we can grab our shape tool. It'll probably usually look like this with a rectangle on it. But down here at the bottom, we can choose an ellipse. And then we can tell it that we want it to draw a circle of a fixed size, nine and a quarter inches wide by nine and a quarter inches high. So I just come up to my photo and click down once and it'll draw that circle for me. I can hit V to get my move tool and kind of center that circle over my photo. Okay, what we're gonna do in the layers palette here on the right, we're gonna move our circle underneath our photo in the layers palette. Then we can hover our little pointer finger on the line in between the photo and the circle, hold down the Alter Option key and click down on that line. And what that does is it clips the photo into the circle shape. So you can see that it's only showing the part of the photo that fits into this circle. Now we can click on our photo and then just use the bounding boxes to grab and drag to resize our photo so that it fills up the entire circle. We can move the photo around so that um, it shows whatever we want to have showing. Make it even a little bit bigger if we want. Move it to the side. And then we can also just fine tune the placement of our words at this point. So I'm going to just move them around a little bit. Both by grabbing and dragging them around and also by clicking on them and then using the arrow keys. Okay, the final thing I want to do is select all of the words at once. And so over in the layers palette, I can just hold down the shift key, shift key and click on all of them. And then I can use the corner box to drag them all to make them all a little bit bigger, all together. And then reposition them. Okay, now my photo is in an exact circle that's exactly the size we need to put it into the clock I'm using. And I can just go under File to Save As and save this as a JPEG. And then I can upload it to whatever photo processor I would like to use and order it as an 11 by 14 file. Um, and then it'll get printed at exactly the size that I need. Thanks for watching. Check the rest of the post to find out how to make your, per your own personalized photo clock and check back at itsalwaysautumn.com for more Photoshop Elements tutorials. See ya, bye bye.